Hello, my name is Balaz Asari Bediako. I am a senior researcher by the research group control system here at the Han. I'm also coordinating the module Smart Power Supply, which I invite you to enroll. You know, Europe is in transition in terms of the energy system. We want to move from a fossil-based power system to a more renewable-based system, which means that the existing power system has to go through some changes. We have more wind, more solar power system coming in. We're also going to have systems like electric vehicles, heat pumps, all connected to the power system. With these changes, the existing power system needs to also adapt to it. And that is why the core smart power supply is there to help us go through this transition. It bids four main causes. The first one is called power control, which means that we want to look at how the power flow is changing as we go through the changes in our energy infrastructure, energy system. We're going to learn in this course, introduction to the power system, to understand how the power system is and what we expect it to be. You also learn about load flow analysis, how the power will be flowing as we are going along with new energy systems. Also, you will learn about the synchronous machines, which means that the machines that are helping gen to generate the energy, not only synchronous, but other machines that are found in wind turbines and all these machines connected to the network. We will also look at how do you control the voltage and the frequency, which are very important in the power system. From next to the power control is the energy management. The energy management is looking at how the whole energy system is connected. The basic idea of energy management is how do we use the energy that is generated. You know, electricity is said that the amount of energy you produce has to be consumed almost immediately. And with wind and solar coming in, how will the future energy system look like? And what are the smart ways we can manage our energy system? So in this course, you also look at energy optimization, when to use energy, and how to make sure that the cost, the overall cost of energy is minimum. You also be introduced to the concept called smart grids, to make sure that with charging of our cars, using of heat pumps, all these things could be done in a smart way that the electricity network is not overloaded, overburdened. Next to it is power quality. Power quality can be likened to water that is flowing to our homes. We want water, but not just water, at a certain quality so that we can use it. The same thing applies to electricity. We want to have it around, but at what quality? We don't want it to be flickering. We don't want it to be going up and down. We want it to be at a good quality. But then with all these new technologies, can we still maintain the quality of the power system? That is what this course is able to help us achieve, and I hope you will like that. Finally, is the course on asset management. Asset management means that electricity has to go through some media. We have to, you need the cables, you need the transformers, you need overhead lines. All of these are assets that are really expensive. Some of them are meant to last for 30, 40, and even 50 years, and even more. The question is, how do you determine when to replace your asset? How are you able to know that your asset is in good state, good health, to be able to keep it running? If you replace them too early, that means that you are losing a lot of money because it's a huge investment. And if you do that too late and it fails, it means it's a whole lot of people will not get power. That is also expensive. So with asset management, it means we are able to maintain our assets, manage them effectively, and be able to replace them when needed. With these four courses, you will be a contributor to help the power supply to be even smarter. I invite you to enroll in this course and help us to make the power supply system smarter. I hope to see you. Thank you very much.